This is a partially sunny day and we're heading towards the Tesla Supercharger. Before we start, a few words about the preparation before getting there. I have installed all the latest software updates and that includes the absolutely latest 2021.4.12 which clearly states in the release notes called weather improvements. Before that, there were another two software updates, which as confirmed by Tesla, they were also bringing cold weather improvements, even though they were not stating that in the release notes. To maximize the chances of hitting maximum charging speed, I used the Tesla app about half an hour before I start driving to start AC, which also preconditions the battery, as you can see from the icon on the top right. Additionally, I set the navigation destination to be the Tesla supercharger, which as you can see preconditions the battery for fast charging. My drive was another half an hour and with that we would be absolutely ready. So let's get driving. Approaching the Tesla superchargers, we are very close to them. They should appear. Now your destination is on the left. Somewhere here. The left is not Okay, let's go left. Do you see any superchargers? Because I don't. So it seems it's a secret place. So we get, uh huh, pretty much the access. So there's a bunch of Teslas <laughs> charging them right now. So apparently they have to let you in. What happened here? The family of Teslas. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's pick a good one. So we're at the Tesla supercharger with a very, very, very low battery, as you can see. So now we're going to try to supercharge the car. By the way, this has never happened before. It's the first time we're going to do that. And we're going to see how fast it charges. So we're here at the Tesla supercharger. I hope it's a V3. Guys, do you know if it's a V3 or V2? I think it's a V3 because it charges with uh, 250 kilowatt hours. Cool. So confirmed, it's a V3. Thank you. <laughs> and we're going to try to see how fast this car charges. Right. So. So green light blinking and this should become blue if I'm not mistaken. No, actually it's charging already. So let's go to check the speed. You can see we are at 68 kilowatts already. While I was there waiting for the car to charge, I decided to give it some time for charging to stabilize. There is this thing called a charging curve and that means while your car charges from 0 to 100% you would see the speed change over time most times starting high and then dropping while it reaches 100% In our case we started with 59 which is the, the charging speed that I observed before so I would love to see how that would change over time would it go up or down? 
So there are these three big boxes, which I believe it's the infrastructure supporting the Tesla superchargers. And if you notice, the superchargers are numbered. So here we have 3A, here we have 3B, here we have 3C, and here we have 3D. So in total, we have 12 superchargers. So it seems like that, that, that these boxes are one box for each four superchargers. So right now we're charging at uh, 2D and there's another Tesla there charging on 2A. So apparently we're sharing power with this other Tesla. Given the opportunity, I would like to introduce you to the location. This is the so-called OIREF campus. It's a campus that hosts many companies right now, some of them technological, and uh, it's kind of a landmark for Berlin. This big metallic structure that you see used to be a gas tank. There have been plans to convert that into office space by building a big tower inside the metallic frame, and there have been rumors that Tesla would be part of that space. Specifically, the design and development center was supposed to be hosted here. However, there have been more recent rumors claiming that Tesla does not have interest in that place anymore and that they will definitely not move in. Instead, they will be putting 12 superchargers, which, as we saw, has already happened. Huh. 53. How much are you getting right now? Uh, we're currently getting good stuff. 240? 70, okay. Yeah, no, it's 70. But how, how full are you? Okay, then maybe that's why. Uh, hmm. Do you have the... But I think you have the... It's the LFP model. Uh, okay. Standard range plus LFP, so... I don't know how fast it can charge, so... We are, we are also only doing a test drive, so... Okay. Yeah. So guys, disappointment. We only managed to hit uh, 50 kilowatts. Which is quite slow, especially given the state of charge that we came with, only... Uh, less than 20%. This is inex inexplicable. So we did all the software updates. We should have hit the, the maximum speed, but apparently this didn't happen. So now we have to investigate why this happened and revisit. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hit the like button. Remember to subscribe and see you in the next one.